So I want to just change up topics for just one minute. I want to talk about the refereeing situation. I want to talk about the ongoing drama around the Nottingham Forest um, letter, post, whatever you want to call it. What I've noticed today from looking at the media is one thing seems very, very disturbing to me. It's the likes of Jamie Carragher and um, uh, Mika Richards, uh, Gary Neville, many of them. They're all quick to jump on and lambast Liverpool or uh, Arsenal or Nottingham Forest when they want when they say that they're going to utilize all avenues available to them uh, in looking to get decisions that they believe have been incorrect sorted. And Jamie Carragher and Gary Neville and everybody else on the gravy train there at Sky just have this hard on for protecting referees. I see today they've wheeled out again, Mister Mister No Morals. Uh, Mike Dean to talk about again it being a disgrace what Forrest have done and what Clattenburg has done and blah 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 but you know what they don't do they don't give us a solution to the shit officiating it's all very well and good saying clubs just have to take it on the chin or suck it up but why why can't they expect better officiating why should everybody like three I watched those three incidents last night in the Forest game and for me Every single one of them was a penalty. So for none of the three of them to get given, I think they've every right. Now look, you can talk about how they go about it, but I think they've every right to be angered. For Liverpool's goal against Spurs to be ruled out, or Liverpool not to get the penalty from Odegaard, or Liverpool not to get the penalty from Doku, how many times do we have to put up with it as football fans? Doesn't matter what your club is. These people need to start remembering that you can't just give the referees all this power and never ever hold them to account. Because all they ever seem to want to do is get behind the referees and back them and talk about you know, the integrity of the game and stuff. Something needs to be done about it. Because whatever they want to say, this has been one of the worst years I can ever remember. And all that they've done with officials is just make them into these little powerful demigods. And I hate it. I hate it because they're not good enough. And something needs to be done. They should not be invincible. They should not be beyond reproach. They should be fired for some of the shit decisions we're seeing. And they talk about clubs or people having um, some cheek to say that there could be something nefarious going on or there could be something uh, to these decisions. Well, even if there isn't, they're still awful decisions. Really, really clearly wrong decisions. And they just keep getting away with it, over and over. And Mike Dean's argument was, well, I didn't hear the Nottingham Forest complaining when, uh, was it Stuart Atwell, was the VAR for the game in February. Yeah, because in February, mate, they may not have been in such a precarious position. They may have thought they had more time to get out of it. So maybe they didn't really complain that much in February. But it still doesn't excuse the three blatant penalties that they were given. And Dermot Gallagher trying to justify the first two as well on ref watch while um, the other two pundits on there, Stephen Warnock was saying, penalty, I thought it was a penalty. And Derek McAllagher was, no, not all contact is a foul. Fuck you. That was a kick through the back of his ankle. It was 100% a foul. Again, they're telling us that what we're seeing with our own eyes is not, we don't know the rules of football. I hate the PGMOL. I hate Howard Webb. And I hate the standard of officiating in England because we're being shafted. And best case scenario, it's ineptitude. That's best case scenario for me. Worst case scenario, maybe there's something more sinister. I don't know. Carragher and Neville need to grow a pair and get out of Sky's backside. It's ridiculous. Like, I get it. They don't agree with the way Liverpool put out a statement, Arsenal put out a statement, Forrest put out a statement. I get that. But they can't just keep accepting the the standard of officiating to be as terrible as it is. Somebody has to be held to account on it. Because it is honestly being laughable this year, some of these decisions. And it will have impacted a title race. It will have impacted a relegation race. It will have impacted the race for Champions League or European places. And there has to be some comeback. Referees these days have every tool at their disposal. They've goal line technology. They've got uh, VAR there. They've got four officials around. They've got everything that they need to try and make the right decisions. And somehow the decision making process has gotten worse. And do you know what boiled my blood today? 
What boiled my blood today was Dermot Gallagher saying that one of the penalty incidents for Forrest where the referee went like this to say he got the ball. Anthony Taylor said he did this, got the ball, and he didn't get the ball. And this was his words. He said the VAR didn't intervene because they probably didn't feel it met the threshold for clear and obvious error. Well, if the ref thinks he got the ball and he didn't get the ball, how is that not clear and obvious? What is clear and obvious if that isn't clear and obvious? Like, truly, what is? Ref thinks he gets the ball. I can absolutely understand that. Ref sees it from one angle, thinks the defender actually Young got a touch on the ball. No problem with that. But he didn't. So, if we all agree that he didn't, which Dermot Gallagher does, then how can we say it hasn't met the threshold for clear and obvious? That is literally a definition of clear and obvious and why VAR is there. To correct something that a referee might not be able to see. And everybody understands that. Referees don't have eyes in the back of their head. They don't always have the best view of everything. And they only have a split second to make a decision. Everybody, including me, understands that. And nobody is saying a referee's job is easy. It isn't. But you do have the technology to help. And for him not to even be sent to the monitor to look, I don't know what what clear and obvious is then. I really just do not know anymore. Because that seems to get it with jail free card. That any referee just has to utter those words, and we all just have to go, oh, okay then, it didn't meet the, meet the mythical threshold that isn't defined, other than clear and obvious. It's, it's just so stupid. No other walk of life would this be accepted. None. So what is clear and obvious? If the ref thinks and somebody got a touch on the ball and he doesn't get a touch on the ball. Like, that, that to me is clear and obviously wrong. Ref made a mistake. No problem with the ref making a mistake, but my God, send him to the monitor. And again, I'm going to come back to Liverpool. How can a VAR official say both players went in high? McAllister and Doku. How? How are we all supposed to just believe that? Because some idiot in the VAR hub said both players go in high. No, they don't. And Mike alone didn't pull that up at all. On mic up with Howard Webb. How about... Hang on, can we stop that there? What's this? They both went in high crap. They just make up stuff that they... I don't know. I, I can't believe that he's seen that and that he thought that. Uh, Craig, can you remember when Robbo kicked the bottom of Danny Welbeck's boot result penalty to Brighton? I know. And those three incidents for me yesterday for Forrest were all penalties. Every single one of them. Uh, the PGMOL cannot be criticised. I agree with your previous thoughts from another podcast that refs should be from other countries. It removes the possibility of people thinking that referees have an inbuilt bias or even a subconscious bias. So, again, football has a real problem with transparency. And I don't know how Howard Webb has the balls to go on mic'd up and talk about his VAR officials and not in any way say that they got that completely wrong with Doku. No, no way did they both go in high. It's like they're re-refereeing games and they're doing it with what they want to see rather than what's physically in front of them. 